So Lehman um, was on the verge of going bankrupt, and you did not have at that time the authority to save Lehman. I know everybody's asked you about that since then, but in hindsight, is there anything you could have done differently with respect to Lehman? Boy, I'll tell you, I, I don't think there was. We tried everything we could to get a buyer. Uh, Lehman was a bigger problem even than Bear Stearns because they're insolvent. There was a big capital hole. Uh, there was no way that a loan was going to solve the problem. It, it was going to take capital or a loan guarantee. And the, and the thing about Lehman, as I look back, we tried very hard and we came very close to getting a deal done with Barclays. But as we look back on it, as bad as that was, that was not the worst outcome that was possible. Because the crisis had been grinding on for about a year. There are many weak financial institutions. We had three going down the same weekend, Lehman, Merrill, and AIG. It turns out we had one buyer. If, and Bank America bought Merrill. If they bought Lehman, Merrill would have failed and it would have been a bigger problem. The other thing I will say about Lehman, which was that as bad as it was and it accelerated the crisis, that it was a symptom, it wasn't the cause. But ultimately, uh, TARP legislation, so-called, did get through Congress, but it failed in the first vote in the oh. House. Uh, what did you think was going to happen then when it failed? Oh, boy. We had a number of terrifying moments, and, and that was really one of them. Because here's the best way to describe it. For months, we'd wanted to go and get these fiscal authorities. It was a big thing for the president to authorize this because uh, there's no way you want to go and say we've got an emergency and give us these authorities and then not get them and be naked, you know, right there with with, with nothing you can do to uh, to stave. Yeah, to, to, to prevent the, the, the meltdown of the financial system. So when we went to Congress, the cupboard was bare. Uh, the president needed to look Ben Bernanke in the eye and have him assure him there was no authorities the Fed had. There was nothing more we could do. We had to go and we absolutely had to get these authorities. Okay, and ultimately the banking system came back and the yep. financial system came back. But as you look at the system today, could something like that happen again with the legislation we now have? Are we better able to protect against something like that? First of all, our financial system is much stronger than it was. The banks are better capitalized. It's much less likely to start in, in, in the U.S. Okay. There's less dry tinder to start a fire. But, and I hate to say this, but we have less authorities today than we had then. And the number one problem we had then, the number one problem by far, was we had a financial system that had outgrown our regulatory system. Uh, our regulatory system and authorities had been put in place after the Great right, Depression right. when there was a run on banks, and we had a situation where 60% of the credit was flowing outside of the banking system. Mm 